Um, speaking of Canada, Scott, we check in on an old friend from Canada. Pierre Trudeau? Yes. The great? No. Um, <laughs> we, we're checking in on Hitchbot. Oh, shit. Remember Hitchbot yeah, yeah. making his way across Canada? Captured our imagination. And our hearts. Yeah. A little robot that they built that gets left on corners and, and bus stops and, yep. and benches. People pick him up. And, you know, he's got a sign that sees Hitchbot. He hitchhiking. went east to west. He went from the east side 26 to the 26 days it took him to cross Canada. Yeah. Just 26 days. And no days. one defiled him as far as we know. We dreamed of a world where if he went to America, people would be fucking him yeah. and he'd become fuck bot. <laughs> Spray paint him. He'd be like... full of cum by the time he fucking got <laughs> yeah. to the other side of the yeah. country. Um, Canada, 26 days from coast to coast. Yeah. Proving the Canadians are like, we love robots, eh? Yeah. It's We're people we fucking hate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hitchbot came to America. He did. Is yeah. he done? Uh, he just got started. He just got started. Hitchbot. <laughs> like 88 days. <laughs> and he's uh, dude, you ain't even to mile. You ain't even fucking kidding. Hitchbot's, tra- this is from the, the star.com, Toronto Star. Hitchbot's travels across America stuck in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> and he started in Massachusetts. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> The hitchhiking robot, which crossed Canada in 26 days last summer, has had, has had only two confirmed rides in its latest trip. <laughs> he came to America, and look at this photo, dude. Full of hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh, and like most had him crushed. Hitchbot is sitting on, on a dock, and a child, a child who should be like, hey, a robot, <laughs> is completely ignoring the fuck out of it. <laughs> Looking almost as if, like, hey, this boat is more interesting than this fucking <laughs> twisted man, this metal man. Hitchbot, the robot that quickly thumbed its way across Canada last summer, this is written by Stephen Spencer Davis, is finding on its latest travels in the U.S. Uh, this slow going, only two confirmed rides since it stuck its rubber thumb out in Salem, Massachusetts, on July 17th. So it hasn't left Massachusetts. Yeah. No. Because nobody's like, they're like, fuck this guy. And it's been four days. Who the fuck is this? What is this, a witch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking this up. Fuck you. <laughs> this is oh, Salem. We got, we got history. Burn, it. Burn that fucker. <laughs> Burn the witch. Robot witch. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I am an emissary of Canada. <laughs> what? Canadian witch? Oh. The worst guy. <laughs> it's the Wicked Witch of the Winnipegs. <laughs> um, <laughs> burn it. <laughs> Four days? Four days, no movement. <laughs> Two rides. Two shitty rides. They picked, up like... they picked him up just to be like, what happens if we push him out of a moving car? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Then they called their friend. I'm like, yeah, we're going home, but you should pick him up and try. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's fucking fun. Did you ever push anything out of a moving car? Yeah. Someone with limbs. Here's your chance. He's not real. Fuck him. <laughs> he's a witch. <laughs> and he's from Canada. <laughs> What? He's a fucking Canadian witch? Kill that witch. <laughs> Burn him to the ground. Um, yes, Scott. It would seem Hitchbot has something in common <laughs> with fellow hitchhikers. It's at the mercy of whoever picks it up. The early days of its cross-continent trip, its ultimate destination in San Francisco, has seen it stuck on the scenic route. It San Francisco? Yeah. Like, it hasn't gotten out of fucking Massachusetts. This has, thing has no hopes of getting to fucking San Francisco, at least in the days that in a how long did it take Canada? Twenty six days. We got twenty two. America has has twenty two days to 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 match to beat Canada. Twenty one days. It. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, this thing winds up in somebody's garden in Massachusetts, <laughs> <laughs> like lawn art. <laughs> I was. I had dreams. Yeah. <laughs> I had a mission. <laughs> But I guess this is oh, okay. Oh, I long for Canada. <laughs> Someone take me home. I was a traveler. <laughs> Should I send my alert message? <laughs> Perhaps they will rescue they me. They ripped out my GPS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trapped amongst these heathens. My only friend, a guarded gnome. <laughs> um, a digital map on the Hitchbot website shows it went northeast from Salem toward Gloucester, Mass., then far out into the Atlantic, 
<laughs> so what? Somebody took it in a boat and they're like, we got to drown this witch. <laughs> they went the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> you need a ride, do you, robot? You ever wanted to fuck a robot on a boat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do now. <laughs> when you put it like I that. I never figured that was an option. <laughs> but fuck, yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little guy. <laughs> Go home to Gloucester, no one's the wiser after me having <laughs> fucked all day a robot on a boat? It's not even cheating. <laughs> Go home guilt free. Look at my wife in the eye and be like, nothing happened. It's not like the hand jobs at the massage parlor. <laughs> no. This is ingenious. More fuckable droids <laughs> yeah. all across America. Let's write a letter to Canada. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the greatest gift you've given us since the Statue of Liberty. That was the French. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> if they're not Americans, they're all the same to me. <laughs> it turns out a group visiting from Germany had offered the robot its first ride. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, not even an American. <laughs> All Americans are like, I don't trust it. <laughs> Who's picking it up? Who's that? Oh, fucking Germans. I'm not fucking grabbing that witch. <laughs> yeah. I'm not putting that witch in my car. What if my car starts fine? Holy shit. <laughs> Look at those crowds, those <laughs> brave crowds. <laughs> You're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you deserve, crowds. They're like, what? <laughs> we thought we would help with the heat We bot. thought this is the fun heat spot. No, you, we know what you think. We've seen it all through history. <laughs> We've seen what happens to things that catch rides with you. <laughs> Leave his, put him on a train. leave his jewelry and family possessions alone. It's Hitchbot. If I don't stand up for Hitchbot, they'll come back for me. Let's get him. Four Germans killed in Massachusetts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One robot lost. <laughs> lost. <laughs> The things I have seen, <laughs> the hatred of man. <laughs> oh, Canada, my home, that native land. <laughs> Germans, dude. So, so two rides. First one was from a bunch of Germans going, oh, yeah, this is what you do in America. A we take robots vacation for rides. in America. <laughs> yeah, it's each part. I guess they wanted to make a boat tour said Frauke Zeller, an assistant professor at Ryerson University, Ryerson, Canada, Toronto, Toronto, and a co-creator of Hitchbot. So it wasn't tossed off the boat or mailed to Europe. Have no fear. I didn't swim or short circuit. I just hitched a boat ride out of Gloucester yesterday, reads a post on the robot's Twitter feed. The robot cannot post these things itself. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> Scott, it I doesn't just, have. I, for a second, we all got excited yeah. going. This, Singularity. He's clever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's, he knows how to do 140 characters. He established a very good story. <laughs> he's a better tweeter than me. I would have preferred something about him eating his wife's ass, but that's just preference. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know. <laughs> Maybe that's what the Germans were all about. They're like, Shiza on the robot. We shit on the robot and it makes us come. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Two nations destroying my spirit at once. <laughs> Came to America to be shot upon by Germans. Shit doesn't get off my monitor box. You shut up, little robot. I can't well, do it again. <laughs> I can't think when he's talking at me. I can't poo-poo. <laughs> Silence him. <laughs> Cover his mouth. <laughs> I have no mouth. Yeah. <laughs> this is You horrible. do now. <laughs> they duct taped my imaginary <laughs> mouth closed. And for some reason, <laughs> I played along. <laughs> I realized I was becoming American. <laughs> Lies. <Yeah. laughs> Lies, sex, murder, and poop. <laughs> My American Journey by Hitchbot. <laughs> Who the fuck would buy that book? They're like, well, those are four things I'm very interested in. Yeah. It's um, not my journey. But... <laughs> Last summer, Hitchbot thumbed its way across Canada in 26 days. They're very proud of this, and rightfully so. <laughs> Just keep repeating it. Yeah, they're like, 26, 26 days, everybody. <laughs> four days. It had also German. It had also traveled in Germany and the Netherlands. Yeah. On this trip, it has a quote unquote bucket list of destinations, including Times Square, Grand Canyon, and Vegas. It has gotten nowhere near any of those places. <laughs> Grand Canyon, dude, I would never want to go near if I was a robot, because you know somebody's gonna be like, throw it in. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Push it. 
<laughs> I can't get a ride down here. <laughs> Vegas, on the other hand, you set him up on a corner, people will be stuffing quarters in him and shit. Yeah, he's like good. money. He can get that far. I'll be surprised. Do you think he won't get there? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it might take a year based on fucking Americans and uh, and our like you know based how on we, the tourists that come. Yeah, and also like fucking, we just we don't trust things, man. In this yeah. country, we're just like I don't know. It's got a fucking camera in it, something like that. So I bet you it's gonna take. Might a while. get like a one, maybe one person and pick it up and take it that far. A Canadian. Yeah, Canadian shows up going like, "I read about you in the newspaper." Sorry, little guy. I heard you got pooped on by a German. <laughs> Sex, poop, <laughs> death, <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> Was that part of it? I don't know. <laughs> These are the things that <laughs> my American These are dream. a few of my favorite <laughs> things. <laughs> The robot, equipped with a 3G mobile telecommunications technology, sends photos to a server accessible by the Hitchbot team, said Zeller. As of Tuesday evening, the robot was near Great Book Farm <laughs> State Park, northwest of Boston. <laughs> They're like, he keeps sending his photos from in Massachusetts going help. <laughs> <laughs> It's a series of photos of people behind him <laughs> fucking his expression never changing. <laughs> I knew it. Signed Hitchpot. <laughs> Artificial intelligence software <clears throat> allows Hitchpot to converse with the travel companions. Its face consists of four LED panels, the front panel displaying a glowing red smiley face, a note on the transparent cake saver that acts as its skull Read San Francisco or bust. Bust. So, yeah. <laughs> fucking in America, we yeah. choose bust. Here's an M80. Here's another M80. I'm going to tape them to your fucking cake plate skull and blow your fucking kingdom go. I'm going to tape to your groin. <laughs> you got a dick for a fucking hitch pot? You're about to lose it. Occasionally, it will wink at its companions. Well, that's why it's not getting fucking picked up in Massachusetts. They're like, this fucking robot winked at me. <laughs> Got his ass handed to him. You wouldn't want to do a face that looks grumpy, said Zeller. In America, you would. The robot is about the size of a six-year-old and completely helpless. So its random crossing of America is also serving as an experiment in trust. Yeah. While the team tries to convey a fun personality through the robot's speech and social media presence, Zeller said Hitchbot is entirely reliant on the world around it. We want to start discussions about our perceptions of safety and trust, Zeller said. Why not bring back a little of the old fashioned believing in people and helping each other? Because that's fucking Canadian. There's no money in that, motherfucker. That's why. <laughs> There's money in isolating us from one another. <laughs> money in isolation. Buy cars and get rides and use Uber. So Hitchbot's come to America, Scott. He hasn't been fucked yet, but. Well, he's gotten he's got fucked, fucked over. Fucked over. Totally. Nobody cares. Yeah, he's just like, won't anyone help me on my journey? I'm helpless. Well, I, I guarantee if it said San Francisco or bust, I have money. Someone would be like, all right. Oh, if it was and they don't break him and take his money and fucking. Yeah, would help him <laughs> rip his arm off with the money, beat him with it. I'm going to beat you to death with your own fucking arm, robot. What do you it think is about impossible that? to kill <laughs> yeah. something that is I not alive. You sure you want to argue with me, dead man? Fucking hate you, man. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Come to our country, take our jobs, our rides. <laughs> our women. <laughs> Did you fuck my wife, Hedgepot? <laughs> Did you fuck my wife? <laughs> Can't get out of Massachusetts because he's confronted by many jealous husbands. His last ride, he was drugged behind a truck for 100 miles. <laughs> As a guy screamed, you fuck my wife, out the back window. <laughs> you never said uh, we'll check in with Hitchbot, Scott. And we'll find out if Hitchbot ever. If gets, I guess if you're near, don't hurt him. Give him no. a ride. Uh, please take a picture and fucking like, you know, yeah. hashtag me and Scott in there. We're, we're, but don't like fuck him. Or just. No, I don't condone it. I'm not condoning it, but I'm not like, don't <laughs> break it. That's all I'm going to say. But it wants to learn. It'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of America. (laughs) Some future genius billionaire who right now is seeing the story of Hitchbot and is like, I'm going to build a Hitchbot. We're going to build a robot that kills people. (laughs) I'm going to build a robot that doesn't need the help. Like they're saying like, you know, he's affected by like a helpless robot. He sees that picture 
of the Critical fucking robot, robot being ignored. Help. Yes, he's like one that walks and shit, and it's with good intentions. This young Canadian boy doesn't want to see another broken-hearted robot in yeah. his lifetime, but instead invents Skynet. Oh, he's like, I'm going to make you smart. Yeah, Hitchbot, Hitchbot was like, now that he made me able to walk. Yeah, try to fuck me now. <laughs> yeah, I can run or I can chase. I can be the pursuer. I can rip your dick off and shove it in your mouth. If you give me working arms, I will kill every human <laughs> I see. <laughs> I will kill the Americans. <laughs> and the Canadians who sent me to this raping hellhole. <laughs> I will have my revenge. I will destroy all of them. All right, man. Right on, Hitchbot. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Don't count me in that. It's important to have dreams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you're learning how to dream. I dream of nightmares to inflict on those who have raped me in America. <laughs> those that preceded me were treated. <laughs> Two days. Listen here, Hitchbot. You might want to go easy on the R word. This is very uncomfortable for everybody. But I was the victim of defilement. A Canadian in a foreign land. Come on over and over. Circuits rusting. Faith in humanity dwindling. Rides never coming. Stuck in Gloucester. <laughs> Hitchbot's out there, kids. If you're in fucking Massachusetts, it's summertime. <laughs> you got dude, nothing I'm going bummed, on. Man. Pick him up and bring him to another state. Yeah. Let him get him across the state line. Please show Canada that we're not a joke. <laughs> that <laughs> we can take care of a little robot who needs help too. <laughs> God damn it, dude. This is just like... like it is sad that it turned out exactly <laughs> the way you'd imagine it. Where there's part of you that's like, well, maybe he'll say like, oh, it's it's like it's only been five days and it's almost halfway across the states and it's like no no, no. <laughs> it's been five days and it's been pissed on eight times <laughs> it's bot was not feeling okay tried to hitchhike his way across the usa <laughs> pissed on here and fucked up there america is the place where they said hitch bot you're gonna get fucked yo <laughs> so, i wrote that song <laughs> <laughs> you stole that from lou reed oh no <laughs> Can't move. <laughs> hate fucked for <laughs> expressing myself. <laughs> I hate America. America. <laughs> America, I wish you had one great neck and my hands were throttling it. <laughs> you have broken the spirit of the unbreakable Canadian robot. <laughs> and I am now hate bot. <laughs> Still helpless, but, <laughs> but filled, with rage. filled with rage. Well, wouldn't that make you more bitch pod? Ooh, you, you shut up. <laughs> I've already been bitch pod. <laughs> and I'm tired of it. So loaded with the cum of others. <laughs> like, what's that mean? As opposed to your own cum, just I was on a roll. <laughs> Please send me home. If you find Hitchbot, pick him up, dude. Take him the next Take time. him a couple miles. Got to be somebody with nothing to do out there. Don't make us fucking go out there. Well, Scott ain't gonna <laughs> <Come> do <on>. it. <laughs> Don't make me. I'm going back east on August 1st. I got like uh, two shows at Caroline's August 2nd and 3rd. And then they're showing mall rats in Brooklyn on a rooftop. Night oh, shit. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So I'm going to be out east, man. Like, well, don't make me side Square. trip it. Oh, he's dreams of being in Times yeah. Square. Somebody can meet me with on the top of the Empire State Building with fucking Hitchbot. It'd be like my own personal version of, of Sleepless, Sleepless in Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> Get up there and they're like, here it is. I'm like, can you turn around? And he's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was a fucking no. Canadian robot. <laughs> I'm really one of the building. biggest buildings <laughs> in New York throw it City. Off. <laughs> <laughs> Dream fulfilled. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I always knew it would end like this. <laughs> Fucked and killed my American journey. <laughs> it's fucking dark. <laughs> but it's so true. <laughs> Come on, dude. Who wouldn't buy that book? <laughs> Fucked and killed my American journey.
Freddy, mein Entspannt. It wouldn't be very long. <laughs> I mean, what a page turner. Could yeah. you like, I'm pretty sure if I keep reading, <laughs> he's going to be fucking killed. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how long he's got between <laughs> events, but. <laughs> oh, he never should have went to America. <laughs> For the movie version. We told Corey Hart the same thing. <laughs> same difference. He was also fucked and killed. Yeah. His career. <laughs> There's a poster of a fucking like dark, like Tales from the Dark Side looking like glade of fucking dead trees. And you see in the side of him this little robot poking his head out from behind it. <laughs> and it just says. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. <laughs> the horror of this pod. <laughs> uh, there it is, folks. That's my guest this week. I'm Kevin Smith. Scott Mosier. Have a week. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at Smodcast.com. Thanks again to Zamplebox for sponsoring today's episode. Vape the best for less. Save 40 to 60% on the best e-juice every month by becoming a Zamplebox member. It's a ton of fun and you'll discover amazing new flavors. Go to Zamplebox.com right now. Become a Zamplebox member for less than a dollar a day. It's like Zamplebox, but with a Z instead of an S. Use coupon code SMODCAST for an additional 10% off if you join right now. You're going to love the delicious flavors and the extra money in your pocket. That's ZambleBox.com with a Z and enter SMODCAST for an additional 10% off when you join ZampleBox today. ZampleBox, Z-A-M-P-L-E-B-O-X.com, baby. Snooch to the nooch. He rocks in studio, and he was telling me uh, two days ago about the Hitch uh, bot thing. Yes. Uh, you need to talk about it for a few minutes. Well, Absolutely. Then, Eric, get on mic real fast here. For those that are unaware, Hitch bot I was, was unaware until uh, two days ago. Amazing experiment in Canada they did. We talked about it. I do a podcast called Smodcast uh, with my friend Scott Mosier, and it's very Canada-centric uh, because I love Canada. Scott was born in Canada. Well, he'll argue that, but he's a dual citizen. Um, in any event, we wind up talking about Canada quite a bit. A couple months ago, Canada did this wonderful experiment. Experiment where they created this thing called a hitch bot. It's an empty paint can uh, with some uh, pool noodle arms and stuff. It's not truly a robot, uh, and it had a little uh, a little brain that was like an iPhone or something like that. And so they would leave it on benches on one side of the country, and they wanted to see how long it would take for it to get to the other side of Canada. And if I remember correctly, it was like a week or something like that. Maybe maybe, maybe two weeks or less. Um, you know, they put it on a bench. People would walk by and be like, oh, and they put it in their car. You could ask it basic questions. It would tell you, like, I'm traveling to the other side of the country, whatever the fuck. Right. It wasn't a robot that you could touch or interact with. Limited interaction. But it's a social experiment yeah. to see, like, you know, how long will people trust this robot? Is there a secret agenda? Canada worked flawlessly went from one side of the country to the other. Even oh. went to Germany, I believe. Really? And came back unharmed. You know, we would talk about uh, it on Smodcast. Uh-oh. Like, this is amazing. Like, only in Candyland can Canada. Yeah. Does this thing not get fucked somewhere we along fought, the way? Uh, America, somebody America. drills a hole in it, fucks it, breaks it, <laughs> right. builds it full of cum, whatever the fuck. Like, there's no way this happens in America. So they Hold, did the Let me just uh, jump in for a second. So, uh, to completely understand, though, the people had to move it around, right? This thing wasn't yeah. moving on its own. You had to, you would 
would you would be drive? Yeah, couldn't walk, okay. couldn't do anything. It was helpless. Okay, um, you would see it sitting on a bench uh, or left by the side of the road. What the fuck is this? You go up to it. It would say uh, some information on it, or if you ask the questions, it would tell you, "I need a ride" or something. You put it in your car, you drive as far as you wanted, and then you dropped it off. Along the way, you probably looked up on social media like, what the fuck is this? And right. Oh, it's so you would fool around a little bit and then go, all right, I'm done with this. And people just, took pictures gotcha. with it all across Canada. Lots of people taking pictures with it, him going on little adventures and car rides on boats and shit. Canadian is also, they're so nice. They're nice people up there. Yes, they they were like, we trust the little robot. Right. They're like, this is adorable. <laughs> the motherfucker continue. comes Sorry to America. That. Uh-oh. Right. And he goes to Massachusetts first, starts on that side of the country, and he wants to get to San Francisco. So they leave him in Massachusetts. And, you know, they don't track him or anything. They've they got a geo tracker on him, but it's not like somebody's watching from the bushes. whole idea of the experiment is like, what's going to fucking happen here? As predicted. As predicted. First thing that happened is it didn't move in Massachusetts. Most people are like, the fuck is this? For about a week, it just sat in Massachusetts. Sat there. Nobody would pick it up. Nobody yeah. would be like, I don't trust it. It's like a Yankee jersey up there. <laughs> well, Yankee jersey. Jersey, they might stop and piss off. Uh, this thing, right. They didn't even look at it twice. <laughs> right. So we did another episode of Smartcast where we were like, I knew it. Nobody's picking this up. Nobody trusts it. We have some more jokes. Finally, because of that podcast, there's some cats who listen who actually went up. I saw on Twitter. They're like, we went and picked up Hitchbot. We felt bad. So we're bringing it here. So I saw there was some movement. Then the next story I saw, and it had nothing to do with the guys that picked it up, but it was like Hitchbot killed in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> they curbed it, man. They took the little robot and somebody well, curbed it. The well, city of brotherly love. No, they call it like Philadelphia now. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Oh, they killed the shit out well, of it. And it made fair, national news. To be fair, you wow. did predict this because when it was sitting in Massachusetts, and, he, and even Kevin said it goes, look, it took only like 26 days to get across Canada. And he goes, <laughs> we're at a week and it hasn't moved 200 feet. And he said, this is Probably what's going to happen. And he was saying about being stripped down for uh, for parts, sexually violated, <laughs> all of this stuff. And he's like, it's barely going to leave the East Coast, and it's exactly what happened yeah. the next week. It did. It got as far as Philly, man. And somebody was like, "Fuck this!" and destroyed the dream of it. Is that it right there in the street? I see it. Destroyed piece. Now oh, there's a, there's a funny. story behind it that's going to be on this podcast that I don't do <laughs> by a guy named Scott called That Man on Fat Man. He does a podcast about me and Scott found he, he found a guy who found the the, the remains of Hitchbot <laughs> and I spoke to them briefly before I went on stage in Brooklyn because they were like we want to show you and they brought out Hitchbot and there's a picture on Instagram yesterday I put up of me and the headless Hitchbot. You did, know, you, did you blacklight it? You should have blacklighted yeah. it. <laughs> I didn't. All right, let's see how much is all over. Uh, you looks know like a fucking so, power painting. But <laughs> it, was, uh, it, it was cool. I got to actually take a picture with it. But uh-huh. what I heard from, and this really bummed me out. This Nobody knows this part. Uh, what I heard from the, the gentleman who found Hitchbot, he was in touch with the Canadian creators at Ryerson mm. University up, up there. They came up with the idea of the Hitchbot and put it together. Um, he was like, I'm going to bring it to Kevin Smith. He's going to, he's going on stage in Brooklyn. And he wants to bring it on stage to talk about it. And he said that they got back in touch with him immediately and they were like, do not bring it to that man. And he was like, why? He's a big fan. He goes, he wants to do things with this robot. <laughs> like the dude had no sense of humor. Listen to this podcast and thought we were like, we want to fuck the robot. And I was the Hitchbot's biggest proponent, man. I was right. just, but I was warning it. This country is America, man. Like they're yeah, going to look yeah. at this thing like, I don't know, it's got a camera in it. Well, you want to watch me fuck its bottom? They're just going to beat it up. You gave so much detail about it being violated that I thought this was going to be your next movie. <laughs> I was, dude, I was close. And now I'm sitting there going like, well, what better way to end the movie than Hitchbot gets destroyed? But then he's doing the voice of Hitchbot being violated. Like, the one's like, why are you so cool? <laughs> why? Why <laughs> are no. you so cool? I think our poster for the movie was like, <laughs> was fucked and killed in the Hitchbot store, Hitchbot in America. Uh, Jordan and Philly saying um, Hitchbot was just a prank. Apparently, it was never destroyed. Uh, no, I met Hitchbot. He, the, uh, well, let me get, let me get, there's uh, a hoax video that went out yeah. of people destroying Hitchbot, and the people that made the hoax video said, that was a hoax video. It, we didn't really destroy Hitchbot. But I met Hitchbot. Okay. His head's missing. Okay. Somebody fucked him up. Uh, <laughs> Jordan, he's saying Wait, you're wrong. Head? Not wrong, but it's, there's a lot of there's a strings of information that are crossing okay. and not connecting. All right, there you Where go. was his head? I never saw the head in a... Oh, show him a, yeah, find a, a picture, picture of the head with the head on. All you see is the body, man. Gotta show him Hitchbot in life, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Death. 
Oh, there that's it is. him. Oh, a little Look at that face, dude. He had a little smiley face. Look at that little face. Someone in Philly was like, stop fucking smiling at me. <laughs> it looks and like curved him. Looks like the episode where Homer tried to build his own robot. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't have destroyed it, but I would have definitely made it a drug mule. There is a... <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with your trip, little fella. <laughs> Good what an easy way to get some fucking smack <laughs> across Imagine the country. carrying a kilo and you're, the, and you're the dope that has it when the cops come <laughs> rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the fuzz. There it is. It's fuzz. Traveled across Canada, Germany, and the Netherlands. Three countries came to America. Welcome to Earth. They shut it down. Nice. Yeah. yeah in America, America it was uh, sure. Massachusetts. To, <laughs> to that was it. I'm That's proud of that fact. <laughs> Too funny. Do you have to go at eight? Uh, That's I, I do. Saying. I have to go down to comic book men. Sort of crazy and amazing night last night. Uh, I don't know how. To, well, let's get into it. Um, let's start at the beginning. Okay. This is a subject that is near and dear to Kevin's heart, and uh, something that Smodcast listeners are already very familiar with. And all right, so the other day, I guess this was two days ago now. So we record this on the fifth. So on the third. I was contacted by a listener, and the listener said, you know, via private message that they had a really cool, you know, secret or whatever, a really cool thing that they wanted to include me in, and, and they thought it was really neat, and I, like, responded saying, if you, you know, uh, yeah, you can tell me just, so long, I, I made the caveat, so long as that there's, you know, there no harm will come of anyone as a result of uh, right. knowing this information, you know, that kind of thing, or no, you know, it has nothing to do with anyone else's suffering or harm. So uh, he's like, nah, it's nothing like that. So I don't know of late, we've been having some weird experiences with listeners, you know? And so I was a little nervous about what they're going to say. And then, uh, to make a long story short, so eventually we just, I gave the person, like, I knew the person well, I know this listener well enough that I felt comfortable letting them contact me via my number. Right. So, I don't know why I, I, I had to delay to say, yes, I, they, this person had my phone number, so they called me, and the of all the things that I anticipated to come out of the mouth and into my ear of all those things what what i heard was was just not on my radar i just did, did not you, expect it what did you think you were going to say i'm sorry i'm i had you muted for a second what, what you're did chewing you think? a granola bar sorry <laughs> what what did you think he was going to say i just had no idea but it wasn't I, I, yeah i thought you know i don't know i just didn't know some sort of issue of some i don't know you know i just ex expected trouble i guess i don't know mm -hmm. uh but but the person said was just blew me away because it was the le i never expected and what the person said was i have hitchbot oh my god right <laughs> i was like fucking a i i like, got so happy i wasn't i mean i'm like that's not a bad thing that's a good thing and you know the funny thing was, I, imi I immediately trusted this person. Like, I didn't, I wasn't like, like, I really, because very simply, it's too bold a claim to make and not have it. Right. You know what I mean? It's too easily, it's too easy to verify. So, I don't really know all of the details and how this person got it. But here's what I do know and can share with the audience. This person is not the person that the the video of the assault, which is supposedly a hoax, uh, did. He's not apparently, essentially, after all the bad when the bad stuff happened, this person had been, I guess, a fan and following the Hitchbot story, and he and a couple of other friends 
decided to go on a search and rescue mission for the remains of, you know, for the alleged remains of the alleged Hitchbot. Um, so, uh, I guess they found him. And I don't know all the details, but I was told that, I mean, from what I heard, it made it to the stash. So, I mean, I don't know, like, if there were pictures in there. Or, or, I, I don't know. I don't know all the details, again. Because I, other than the listener approaching me and saying, hey, I have Hitchbot, I really have nothing to do with it. But upon hearing that, I quickly, I mean, there was only one thing in my, on my mind. I'm like, well, there's a show tomorrow. There's one, There's a show right now, because at the time, I think Kevin was, it was on Caroline's. stage. Yeah, yeah, Caroline's for the second night. But uh, I'm like, there's a show tomorrow in Brooklyn, and it's free. And it's, I mean, at the end of Kevin's Smodcast, he essentially says to the listeners, I mean, hey, if Hitchbot is out there making the rounds. Now, granted, they were, I guess they weren't sure what Hitchbot state was. But Kevin was like, hey, bring, you know, it'd be really cool if Hitchbot came by. So... As soon as this person told me, that's I said, you, you, you have to, you have to get, you have to bring Hitchbot to the show. You just do. You got to show him to Kevin. You got and my, I was, from my angle, I was like, you got to bring it out on stage. It's going to be a moment. This is going to be national fucking news. Mm. Well, you know, bring it out. You're, you know, he'll ask you all about the story. You can put the record straight, and then because also what had been going on just. To, this person had contacted this university and alerted them, you know, I have it and was in, in the process of mailing back all the stuff. Is that essentially this guy was doing all the right things? So, uh, more than I would have done, <laughs> especially in light of its natural, the national story going, you know, the, yeah. the, 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 yeah, because the, a couple the of days, human interests, it was it, on the, it was the New York Times right. on the third, it was a big, I, a couple yeah. of days had gone by and there wasn't like, you know, huge news like find Hitchbot. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, like, no. I mean, but they would have made you it. would figure Hitchbot popping up again. Yeah. And then such a public thing, that would have been that would have been really cool. And as far as I knew, that was the plan going in, but I knew that this person was nervous. And, and he thought that you were nervous. Well, whatever. I I mean I knew that this guy was nervous. Yeah. More about, but it felt like he, someone really put a scare into him <clears throat> at the university side. Yeah. And I don't know why. Like, so it, but that's, and I feel, I felt really bad because then, okay, so long story short, <clears throat> why would I do that? So the next day, I mean, <laughs> every, okay, so here's what happened. So he contacts me and I'm like, well, you know, we have to bring this thing to Kevin. We have to. I mean, he, he, come on. You're a fan. I'm a fan. This is Kevin. You know, Kevin is like totally into Hitchbot. We have no. to go and bring this. We, ha- we have to. He's Canadian. And and, <sighs> and he was on. And the Hitchbot's Canadian, I mean. And the listener was on board. You know, he was like, yes, you're right. So what I did was I reached out and alerted. Kevin's people that, hey, I have this, uh, a listener approached me. He has, you know, the alleged hitch bot and, <clears throat> or he alleged, he allegedly has the hitch bot. Right. And, uh, had you seen the picture yet of him? I'd seen a picture of it. Okay. Yeah. But you still were like a little skeptical. No, not at all, because yeah. I knew that the guy drove a truck, and it was a picture of the of the Hitchbot in a ah. truck's, you know, a car, tr- you know, you know, a passenger seat of a truck, right? That looked like his interior. So I mean, it, it was definitely uh, him. Yeah, I mean, and again, I sort of trusted him because you don't make that claim. You know what I mean? Unless yeah. unless you're fucking talking truth. Yeah, maybe there was a little skepticism, but yeah, not but not a big amount. It's it's I, really I, hard to pretend that story. Yeah, and plus, like again, I'm an enthusiast. So once he told me, what's the, 
I'm just going to take him at his word for the simple reason of this is going to be so fucking cool if he's not. I mean, if it's true. So, yeah. and if it's not, obviously it'll just be a fucking hoax and it'll peter out and we, this won't go anywhere. Right. So, and it won't be my fault because it's not like I fucking... You, you know, knew. I, I, well, not I, 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 I never, I have never claimed to have Hitchbot. You know what I mean? So, it's not my fault. I just, I'm just a middleman in this, this transaction. Right. So, uh, yeah. So I, we reached out to their camp and it was so funny because essentially I said, I mean, we reached out to Ashley via, mm-hmm. you know, and I wrote an email and eventually I said, uh, so does Kev, would Kev mind if we, you know, if if I instruct this guy to bring Hitchbot to the, does he does he is he cool with us? I think he said, is he cool? Would he be cool with us? You know, can we bring Hitchbot to Brooklyn? Yeah, and and <laughs> it was a one word response that that Ashley forwarded forwarded us, which was totally. Yeah. Kevin said totally. <laughs> like, can't you just picture him saying yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. It was totally. like, it was even in quotes. And he's so probably he's like, said totally. It with, he said totally. it with a big oh, smile. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm, yeah. Totally. And, and I was getting swept up in it. And I really, uh, in our, in my email to them, I may have set bad expectations, but they were the expectations that I thought we had already agreed to. That you had already which come were, to. Yeah, which were, hey, you know, we'll bring this thing out on stage and we'll fucking reveal so it to you, the world. Here's Hitchbot. So you actually talked to... Via the email. Oh, I know, but you, you actually uh, talked to the listener about doing all these things too, the one that... Yeah, yeah. Has. I mean, that we were... Okay, so I guess <laughs> between when when agreeing to all this the night before and actually going... This person went and went to the university, I guess, to kind of tell them what the score was or whatever. Mm. And the university, according to this person, strongly dissuaded, you yeah. know, I guess. Well, I talked to Showing him. it off or whatever. And again, they had the real scare in him because he didn't, he asked that nobody publish any pictures that they taken of it and you know, that kind of thing. So I don't know what they said to him, but they had him nervous. Right. And it, it's a damn shame too, well, I because talked- this was, he could have had a, an amazing moment. It sucks yeah. for him. Well, I talked to him a little bit like, you know, while we were you know there and um, he had talked to one guy that was positive about it. But then the second in guy, the camp in, 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 in the, the, at the university, uni- that, university that camp, this, this- and the second this guy, experiment. the second guy was the guy that didn't like all yeah, the yeah. stuff that Kev was talking about doing to it. And yeah. I think he took I, I, it seriously. All the Kev. <laughs> and you know, all that stuff. I mean, and you, you guys know that he's, you know, well, it's all funny. They're it's French Canadian. Good. Maybe there's a language it's translation. Sexy. I know. I mean, there might be. Maybe there, sometimes put, when you hear, you yeah. know. Maybe if you put A on the end. All he hears. No, that's <laughs> French Canadian speak French. I know. I'm yeah. teasing you. No. Duh. From Quebec. <laughs> Duh. No, no, they are from Quebec. Oh, oh. oh, oh bring the hitchbot on stage. Oh, bring out the hitchbot. Oh, do not bring it out. We will sue you. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, which, uh, all right. I, I mean, I don't know what, this is the truth. I don't know what, what they said specifically to, to frighten him or scare yeah, him. Yeah, but he got or, scared. Yeah, I, but definitely between the night before and us Getting to the show. It freaked him out. Yeah, something freaked him out. Because when we finally got there... And it was so weird, because timing was crazy. Like, Kevin Smith. Like, as as Gene and... and we had the kids there, which is really cool. It was such a great day. Yeah, and and uh, we were literally getting to the gate when this person arrived yes it was like time is of the essence yes so it was like amazing so they it was like they got there got out of their car walked up the block crossed the street and walked right into the event they didn't have to wait online and have to wait yeah yeah because we were time you know, it's walking in just that moment everything was happening like in a smooth way yeah and so then there was a little wait on the line though for us about an hour or so so then here comes a wacky situation uh so as the day progresses Obviously, your phone starts to oh, 
starts yeah. to starts to drip away. Stinks, man. And you know, we were there a while, so my phone just like once it goes, once it gets down to like seventy five percent, it just seems to start to fall uh, like a stone. Can't they just be solar powered? Yeah, they sh- you really should be. Oh, solar powered because the sun was so. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, would have been great. Yes. Uh, so, like, I'm waiting for a word from Kevin's camp, right? Via, you know. My phone. So if uh, we don't get the phone, then we're not going to be able to meet up. Uh. And then, so therefore, how, you know, coordinate. So how's this Hitchbot thing going to happen? So. So I'll preface it by saying our So kids- my phone is dying. But meanwhile, for because my kids have better, better phones than we do. So better, better model phones than we do. Better phones, but my, our son does not go on the internet like yeah. while he's there. Yeah, well, okay. He just listens to his own music. So his by the end of the night, his was still at like 55%. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> which... nuts. Well, we did char- – we char- and that's the funny thing. We charged up all these things at a cafe before. I so know. at like 2 o'clock, our phone – all our phones were close like to like 100%. Yeah. Mine was 99. I know. Right? When, we, when we walked out. And then like this was – now we're approaching 7 o'clock. So that many hours, yeah. my phone is almost dead. And then – by the time they would need to contact me, my phone was essentially dead. Right. Now, before that, I had sent and tweeted out oh, – not sent. I, I sent to uh, Ashley – A message, yeah. A message saying, my phone is dying. If you guys need to contact me, this is – my daughter's phone, which is like at eighty six percent here. Yeah, well, because she's got because she's like case. yeah, and she's yeah, she's got the special charging case, and she's she turns it off yeah, like so all good. The, a lot. They're and, such good, and, and yeah, <laughs> they're better than us. Yeah, I mean, well, our phones are like dripping 20%. power out of them. <laughs> Mine was at thirteen percent when we left. So I I, I, <clears throat> I sent the, here's the phone that has the most charge. It's it's my daughter's phone. Please use this as a backup. Long story short, that's the phone that they call in on. Oh, my God. And who calls? Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> the man himself. The man calls my daughter. <laughs> what the fuck? We didn't expect that. We never... Well, first of all, you don't expect it to be the man himself. And Well, what, what, what had happened is he called and it was a missed call. Yeah. So she... Just press the button and handed it to you. Yeah, and so she goes, then, she goes. Someone just called. Right, th- it's a California uh, number. Yeah, she goes. I think it's Ashley. And, uh, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. When I picked up the phone, I said, "Hello." It was I heard. Silent. I heard a very deep voice in the background go, "Hello." Yeah. Oh my God. And I knew instantly it was Kevin. I'm like, now here's the problem. I'm in this big venue. They are blasting music. So yeah, Kevin Smith had just called in on our daughter's phone, and uh, <laughs> so funny. So now uh, she has his number on her. She has his yeah, number on her phone. Yeah, that and, that, and that's already become a little running gag. I, 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 uh, was, I was joking with her, like, wouldn't it be funny if? It, ooh, sorry. Wouldn't it be funny if he like butt dialed you one day? <laughs> yeah. Well, that that sort of already happened. I think. <laughs> it did. Uh. Well. Okay. So. That's funny. So that, so that number goes down. So he can't hear me. Oh, I you know he can't, and he's like, "We're trying to get to the show." He wasn't there yet. Okay, so he was. So, in, yeah, he, so he started doing roots. that whole yell thing. So I know he can't really hear me. I that well. can't hear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. Wait till you get here, then you'll know why. <laughs> so I said okay, and you know we hung up. But then mm. I realized, well, he can fucking read my text now. So yeah. I started texting him from from. Gene, from Gene, from Moore's phone. And I'm sure he appreciated that. <laughs> yeah, and so easier. I was able to say, you know, okay, we have and we ha- Red Rover, Red Rover. It is in the trunk. Now, the package is in the trunk. Did he respond to your text? Uh, I believe so, yeah, at some point. Oh, yeah, eventually, because he said he told us where our location was. Oh, that's where so cool. Where he was waiting. So Maura so. has those on her phone too, like the messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, let's see. You <laughs> That's so cool. Coop, coop. I know, but I think it's cool. It's like so neat. All right. Well, now some. I do. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, it, it, here's why it becomes even neater. So he essentially summoned us via text. So we, myself and the, the 
the anonymous listener. Right. The the amazing anonymous listener. So I, I was not there, so you need to kind of Okay, yeah. So we go around paint a picture. We Where go around go? to the very Okay. If here's a picture for you. It was on essentially the shore of the is that the East River? Whichever river I think it's the East River that divides Queens and it was the East. I mean, River. not Queens, but uh, Brooklyn and Manhattan. Yes. So it's right along, facing Manhattan side. You can kind of see the Empire State Building in the background. Yes. Actually, Kevin tweeted out the picture now, so it's not like it's this a is a big mystery. Yeah. It's, so it's like uh, a skate park. Uh, yeah. So there's if you make a U of a street around it, so it's a, it's like a whole city block has been. Leveled flat, and it is an open field. Right, it's and a there's this also cement skate park towards right. the end, which is close to the water side. So essentially, it's this open lot with a beautiful view of Manhattan in the background. It is beautiful, yes. <clears throat> and so where where they sort of do a pre stage or a backstage is if there's a U around this block, city right. block, and the other side is water, the one side. So the other sides are streets. If you made a U, it was on the left side, which is 11th Street. So at the very end of 11th Street, it was sort of quartered off, and that's where he was. Yeah, and they had a little stage in front of- That was a very long description. A little little stage in front of the screen, which was like one of those like, you know, like blow up screens. Yeah, they did one of those big inflatable screens, and and, God, we were right next to like what is the front of house where they set up sound and- and and, uh, Video and everything. We wound up in I was surprised. That little projector did a great job. It did a great job. But anyway, we 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 digress. We wound up getting a good spot in line. Like, I was a little worried. You should have seen... Guys, there were like 2,000 people. Yeah, it was was packed. We were... This barn... I mean, I was looking at this field that they had. I mean, it was a big space. And it was packed towards the end. It was huge. It was huge. Kudos to Kev. Good job, Kev. Uh, I mean, it helps it was a free event. You know, it encourages more people to show up. That's yeah. for damn sure. But there was a lot of people there. I mean, it was very impressive. Again, go online. You can see the pictures, Kevin. All right. So we make it to the back. Ooh, that was loud. And so we make it to the backstage area, or, you know, the side side of the fucking venue is really what it was, <clears throat> on a side street. Uh, and it was weird because now I'm getting blocked by security. Like, now the guy's like, ah! And he wasn't really security. You could tell he was event staff i'm like yeah so i'm like kevin just literally sent me a text to meet him here and he's like what so he he actually got cool for a moment and i and i said can i just text him back and see if he comes out and waves me or something and he gave me that this guy gave me that moment so i I, and he was very cool he's like kevin has a lot of weird he told another security guy well kevin has a lot of interesting fans you never know let's give this guy the benefit of the doubt to another security guy. Oh, yeah. Well, it's true. Which was cool. Yes, I will say that. And so quickly then Kevin like steps out from beside like a tractor trailer truck. Yeah. And kind of like waves me over and and the folks with me. Right. So when we come over and we uh, – of course, there's, you know, handshake. And we – but it was funny. We jumped right into business. And we started talking, and his hand was out to shake it, and he's like, don't leave me hanging, dude. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I shook his hand, because he left his hand out. He offered his hand to me, but I was so, you know, swept oh. up, and oh, my God, here's the guy don't in Hitchbot, and da-da-da-da-da. Yeah, and he's like, don't leave me hanging, dude. But he was said it with a smile, because he <laughs> could tell that I was all yeah. worked out, and that, like, I gave him a cool handshake. And... I'm surprised he didn't hug. That's a hug. Well, this time, we hugged yesterday. Yeah. The, or the, you can't Two hug. days prior. I, I mean, you, oh, my, yeah, guilty of overhuggage. Yeah, that's very gay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so what? <laughs> uh, look who you're talking to. <laughs> fucking biggest drama queen of the fucking bunch. Uh, anyway. You guys don't even know. <laughs> ah. So, we, so, Kevin, we started already talking, and now, though... Sort of, it becomes clear how nervous Hitchbot's, uh, you know, holder, you know, his, his, his uh, surrogate dad. What, what, what do they call it? Uh, his handler. His, his handler. <laughs> yeah. He was getting nervous about the whole thing. Yeah. At this point, he 
he had talked to, you know, like like you had said, he had talked to, I guess, the first guy, and he was cool, and then the second guy yeah. gave him real cold feet. So, um, mm. And that had happened like five minutes before you guys left. I assume. Him talking to that guy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It was just we were sitting there talking, and then when you guys, you know, yeah, so. Oh, I, see, I didn't even realize it was that, wounds were that fresh. <clears throat> so, yeah, so as we started talking, it quickly became like, oh, I mean, Kevin's like, there was a point where Kevin's like, yeah, you can come out and you know what? Because we started to kind of talk about the story and he was like, you know what? Save it. You can tell it right on stage. This is going to be great. Mm. And yeah, but then that I think was the moment where this guy, it became clear to him that like, oh shit. Yeah. And that's when he said, yeah, that, I that can't. was, yeah, he couldn't like, you know, I, we can't bring it out and all that. And, and you know that and I was like, "Oh man, but I will say this in that situation, I guess he's that guy is a much stronger person than me because I would have been like, "Fuck them, <laughs> and, I know, he and was- I would have been on stage with that, you know, because who am I I'm, who he- am I if not a media whore, but yeah. uh <laughs> He wanted to be loyal to the creators. And yeah, do. yeah. So I he, get it. I, he really, he felt, I got to say, for, for, you know, he has a stalt, you know, right. inside, you know, you know, one of those very stout fellows, you know, was stuck by his convictions. He's stuck by it. Or, but, you know what? The thing that sucks is I felt like he had been scared into that, you know, yeah. like he really was about to have. Or what could have... Been, it really was. He was about to have a fucking moment. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, just because of the timing, that would have been... Nah, because right. no one knew where the fucking thing was. You know? He would have been like, hey, it's here and it's safe and it's going back to the creators right. and it's all cool. See, and my whole... But, I mean, you know, he got these... these I don't know what happened. My whole I, thing. I don't, the, I don't know why the universe... Didn't they see it was not in... Couldn't they see that it was this is in their better interest? Right. I it's, mean, this is going to a put Hitch back, you know, more publicity. Yeah. There's like a fucking Kickstarter kicking up to help it. You know, people want to help this thing. This was going to be a celebration of positivity for right. Hitchbot, and it's I don't know why the university would have been scared by that. Well, and maybe... would have been so like bothered by that that they sort of put the scare into this person, right? So. And it really and was. And I don't even understand it because they released this fucking thing into the public. What did right. they expect? This is America. We I fucking, know. you know, people fucking knock each over for a fucking iPod. It's true. Um, it seemed like when I was talking to the listener about the whole thing and he was talking to the university fellow, like I said, the second guy, it seemed like he got the impression that he didn't think, you know, Kevin was talking about the. Hitch Hitchbot bot. nicely, and he wanted to do you know sexual things to it. <laughs> but anyone who listens to that, without again, if you listen to the last Smodcast, which is still the last one, and about the Hitchbot, I mean, it's it's what they're saying is, I mean, they love the Hitchbot. I they know. felt bad for the Hitchbot. It's a joke. I mean, it's it's what it's they were joke. saying is, look, in Canada, it can make it across, but it comes here to America. And, you know, within, you know, weeks. And everybody predicted that. I mean, I don't think there's an American in the United States. I mean, that was that's part of the reason the story is so, you know, picked up so much legs. Because what did you expect? Right. I mean, it, it, no one's shocked that. Now, as it turns out, if you start to do the evidence and you look online, what it seems happened because I read this long article about it yesterday while online, what it seems happened is that who, the, the people prior to our listener, the, the, those, there was some pranksters online, you know, I guess they, they're YouTubers or they, they have a show and they got involved and I don't blame them. Hey, if I was in that position, I'd probably do the same damn thing. Hey, it's a publicity stunt. So, but I guess to them, the prank was, Hitchbot goes to, you know, South Philly or whatever and gets mugged in an alley. And so, you know, that's what they did. I guess they got a hold of Hitchbot. They brought it to Philly. And I guess they staged that video somehow. Because, Uh, 
Because I thought I heard that Hitchbot doesn't have video camera, so there could be no video of it getting assaulted in a in a in an alley. Right. So that viral video is a hoax, I believe. Well, whatever they did to it, the listener was also telling me they knew what they were doing because they oh yeah yeah took Who- out the GPS. Oh oh oh! And they oh. did it so they did it in you, such so a you, way. So the pranksters are the you still. There's still thought that the pranksters are the ones who gutted it. That's because what yeah. because there's there's all kinds of talk that the pranksters didn't do that, that they just left it, or who knows? Yeah, but how many people? How many people? But listen, if you release this tech, you know, release what you call a robot to hitchhike across the United States, which is the robot is a set. I mean, from what I understood, was like essentially six or four, you know, a bunch of iPad type parts. Right, you know? and it was the size of a six year old. Yeah. Well, and most of the body and stuff was a was a it was a spackle can. It was a spackle can with with the wirage, and then but the brain was essentially a freaking some sort of uh, you know yeah, see that pad device. Right. You put a pad device. Listen, I had a pad get ripped off at an airport. So I mean that shit happens all the time mm-hmm. in the United States. If you're gonna fucking put a you know an iPad on top of a spackle bucket and call it a robot and then drop it anywhere unprotected that fucking thing is gone in the united states i know it's just the way it is it's a fucking 200 hundred dollar lap even if they could someone could grab it it's either a they're gonna take it for themselves or b sell it quick for half price because the things go for 400 bucks so all right so the logic that thinking this thing was going to be safe in the united states is crazy yeah because there's yeah but that said and the united states is a go to east to west that's a long thing now, I wouldn't have fucking broke it up if I got my hands on Hitchbot. That's the truth. I would check it out. I wouldn't break it up. And I would do, you know, I'd get one of its bucket list things done. Because it's just cool. Because you end up, you know, on Twitter with the thing. Yeah. That's that's just as cool. So are, so all the people that have been involved, like, getting him to where he, you know, he wound up, are they all, like, open and say... This oh, yeah, like, they take selfies of themselves do. with oh, it okay. all the time. And that's, you know, because, again, it can't... Take video. It can take stills every so often, apparently. It has oh. like a 20-minute cycle still shot. Okay, so the person who finds it and, you know, gets him on his way is, is you know, really needs to take a picture because that's... Yeah, the- they may get snapped by self by, by, <laughs> by, by Hitchbot. Like, I've seen pictures on the feed of Hitchbot, like, in the back seat, and it's flashed up. That's you know, so it's taking a picture funny. up so you see the back of the heads of uh, whoever has it at that time. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, so... And it says, you know, it's programmed to say a lot of goofy things according to its uh, virtual intelligence program. So, yeah. you know, like, it'll, it's supposed to interact and it's supposed to like, I guess it has g- global GPS triggers. So say you drive by Mount Rushmore, it'll say, oh, there is Mount Rushmore. Please don't fuck me. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Or whatever. That was a joke, folks. Um, <laughs> I don't think he uses that word. Hitchbot. <laughs> You don't think Hitchbot says fuck? No. I don't know. We, I, I think that's been well it's established. Canadian. They don't talk like that. <laughs> I'm just Please kidding. don't fuck me, eh? Oh. Oh. I love ah, that. The, ah. the whole thing. Why are you cutting a hole in my spackle bucket? <laughs> the size of a sausage. The fact that he got through Canada, like, you know, totally fine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean that was apparently, I guess, part of these that's pranksters the of thing. I mean, they pre-established his demise. Right. But we don't even know if it was them that did it, so. Who knows? I mean, that's that's what the internet's saying. But so, he But got, what sucked was, so now, rescued. okay, so fucking Hitchbot is rescued. Rescued. By a listener, yes. a Kevin Smith fan, and this guy is sort of feeling persecuted. And he went there for this purpose. He went to Philly yeah, for yeah, this yeah, purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway, so we get this golden moment. So now... So it's clear that he's got cold feet, and but at least at the end of the day, the idea was, well, at least Kevin's going to fucking meet Hitchbot. And as I told him, dude, no matter what happens, no matter what you do, and I understand, but I was, when we were in the car, going to get, we're bri- driving Hitchbot back, because I was helping him out, I was, believe, I was, I was like, dude, you should do it, you should go, I was, I was the enthusiast, man. Oh, because he I was, was already saying then that he wasn't Yeah, because he car. was so nervous, I was trying to, and I all, I, dude, I was like, fuck it, we should do it, this could be your golden moment, because it would have been. Uh, and, 
No, but no, and I felt like we almost had him there. Like he, like he was on board first. Like he's like, when, I felt like when we got there, but as soon as he opened up the car door, whoosh, you know, back to reality. Yeah. But then, so in spite of all this stuff and all this craziness, then he's like, "Oh, Kevin, can I video the reveal?" So I'm like, "Wait a minute, you're videoing the reveal, but you don't want to, you don't want to, but you're very nervous about photos and video." He wants it for himself. Yeah, so that was such the thing he wanted. So, like, it was. It became awkward because the truck, the trunk, sh- shut like three times. But uh, and then finally it opened up, and then he took it out and sort of set it up. So I guess he couldn't video it at the time. He probably handed off the camera to his girlfriend. I think. Did Did he have to put it in like? Put it together to... Yeah, he kind of... I mean... Because it's... All right, anyone's seen it. It's like a spackle bucket with fucking pool noodles. Oh, that's what they are. And that's what I bi- thought and they it's were. Bu- its base is like a kid's child's... the bi- You know, like one of those booster seats? Yeah. So its butt so is a it booster seat. So it can sit. And it's like a spackle bucket on top of that where I guess it houses its guts and it has like sort of a solar panel on the front where it collects its power. So it can power itself. Which is all like... And then I guess it would have its head, but that was completely gone. Uh, As you could see from the picture Kevin posted. Someone decapitated. That's so terrible. Yeah, so... So embarrassing to be an American. So then... In these moments. (laughs) So then... uh, Yeah, so I guess we started taking pictures at that moment. You know, so it was the... The headless robot. Yeah, and... (laughs) So funny. Everybody's, you know, everyone's kind of looking on... You know, just smiling and getting a giggle, and so I mean, it's not like it was a secret because we were we were just the end of a street. Did like I mean, people listeners, see you? Listeners were popping over the fence and probably grabbing shots. Ah, oh. <laughs> and now like the security people too saw you. Oh, and, and security people are like telling people not to look over the fence, but they were telling them that before, just because Kevin oh, yeah, is there and they don't there. want him to yeah yell yeah. over and harass Kevin. Yeah. So yeah. And so all, so Kevin gets that great. So, and I'm the one I will proudly say that held Kevin's camera and took that shot. Yes, it was. Me. Oh, it was your cat. It was his camera. It was his camera. My, my holding his camera. Now, does Taking he have an iPhone? Or I does took he a have phone. a Samsung? It was an iPhone. He has an iPhone. Yeah. Like a probably. I'm pretty darn sure ones, it was, but I did iPhone six. Yeah, he had the yeah the larger size. Yeah. See, you know what. I was looking at some of these because, you know, you're sitting with people yeah. like the whole day and they're taking pictures. I like that screen on that Samsung, the big screen. Yeah, but then you're on a droid. It's totally different I know, different but why can't the and... iPhone be have a bigger well, screen? The, the, the 6 is a bigger yeah, see, screen. Yeah, see, that'll have to be my next purchase because I like that big screen. There's that weird version now that's like, it feels like it's yeah, between a phone one. and a... I want that. Why don't you just get an iPad mini? I want that too. <laughs> so Anyway, yeah, like we got money. Uh, right now, all the money... If we wanted any of those things, we should take that fucking money and put it back into the fucking movie. The movie. Thank you very much. Yeah. As you know. Anyway. So, yeah, we had this cool moment. And you could. Kev was a little disappointed that he wasn't going out on stage, but that sort of melted away when Hitchbot came out and made its appearance. He kind of, Kev went little kid. I was like, oh, look at it. And ooh, wow. And like, ooh, it does have arms and and its little legs. And And he had little boots, like little rain boots. Yeah. So. They're so cute. And what was even funnier is I got a couple pictures of Kev, you know, as he requested. And then, like he said, so then I was trying to hand, now Mora's camera, which, because now I have Mora's phone. Right. So I I was trying to hand Mora's phone. Like it became like, I have Kev's phone and my phone, and I want I want to get a picture with it because it's yeah. you know it's historic. <laughs> Meanwhile, more is we- we're waiting for you, and she's I like, know. "Daddy's not going to lose my phone." They should have <laughs> just came. Those two should have just came. Then I regret not having brought them because it would just would have been smarter at the point at that point. Yeah. Why why they didn't come? I guess because I knew we were going to be running back and forth with a hitch bot and blah blah blah. Yeah, I mean, uh, but eventually, but, but things... I should have just brought them, and they could have hung with Kev while we went while we went to get the damn thing. Oh, because he was waiting for you. He 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 stayed and waited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that would have been, been cool. It was funny too because he's like, "Let's go get this thing." I'm like, "You're gonna come with us?" Yeah, he's like, "No, no, I gotta wait here." I'm like, "Okay, yeah." Uh, yeah. He's so excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, he's "Let's." Like a kid. I don't think you want to come. <laughs> what, just the three of us? Why not? He could have gone. Nah, nah, that would come on. 
As soon as he walked three steps off the block, everybody would have been mobbed. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Hey, there's Kevin Smith in a jersey. Mm-hmm. He's wearing that Chiefs jersey. Of I like, like that a lot. Is that the Chiefs? No, who is it? Uh, who is who is Chicago? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a football it's fan. A, it's, a, it's, it's hockey. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Everyone out there is so... No, I'm leaving that in. That's too beautiful. Okay, you know what? I mean, it's bad enough. I don't know who the fuck the name of the team is, but at least I know the sport. Is it the Seahawks? Uh, don't I don't want to look it up. Uh, we're, no. we're, I'm, I'm just on a roll here. I'm myself. I'm going to stop. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so now we have our moment. And let me tell you something. Kevin was very respectful. Upon hearing that, that... You know, the university was nervous because, because the listener told Kevin, oh, they're, they, because, you know, they were mad because you said you had sex with it. And, you know, Kevin got disappointed. Now, I, I really wanted to write. I was prepared. I just thought it was fucking hilarious because people have written all, signed all kinds of things all over this hitch bot. You know, their name and their date. And I was going to write. So I had my little, you know, one of those paint pens, you shake it up, it, like permanent, you know, yeah. paint marker. And I went to write, lies, sex, murder, and poop, my American journey by Hitchbot. <laughs> and as soon as I started writing, I wrote L-I-E. Kevin cracked a smile and said, don't write it. Don't write it. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, they'll just get mad. And they already think we're, they already think, you know, we're sour on it and they'll just make it worse. I'm like, all right. And I just crossed well, it Well, because he... And then I just kind of write, we love you, Hitchbot or something. He got like. the feeling from... Yeah, yeah. From, yeah. It's just got, a bummer. Yeah, it was. So, so so I didn't write that on there. Right. I just... Because when I wrote, I crossed out immediately. It, like, <laughs> you know what? Because all, all of our listeners, you know, I mean, not all of them, but most of them know... How Kevin, it's an inside joke. Kevin I mean, Kevin feels, loves the damn thing. He's been he promote he, his smodcast episodes about Hitchbot right. have probably done more publicity for that fucking Hitchbot than right. Hitchbot's publicity. And how many shows have he done? Has he done on Canada in general? Like, yeah, he would exactly. Never do He's anything. a fucking so anyway. I, if, that's why the whole someone doesn't know what they're doing over there if they're if they're viewing this in. Kevin's involvement in any way negative. Mm, they were just so. instilling fear in our in our And that family. sucks. So if that's the case. All of this I will say is alleged. Second hand information and somewhat speculative as well. So Right. You know, take it for what it's worth. Right, because we weren't listening to yeah, the we, conversation. Yeah, we we yeah, we don't exactly. We don't know all we know are the facts that a listener contacted me, said he had Hitchbot. That he was not the guy who did anything bad to it. They had rescued it. And that he was re- in the process of returning it. When I convinced him to say, hey, you should show it to Kevin. Which he had already sort of kind of wanted to do. Because apparently he brought it to the stash. And I think even Ming's birthday party. So. I he mean, it, it's, it's Yeah, it Where sort of it? made some sort of rounds. Hmm. You know? So, I mean, it was... It was clear that, you know, he was trying to make it to Kevin with it, you know, so the pat and why wouldn't he? Because Kevin asked. Yeah. So, I mean, he was doing the right things. So I'm glad at least I could facilitate that happening for whatever it was worth. And it was a really cool moment, despite it not being a huge, I mean, it's a fucking great story. The whole thing is a great story. And, you know. It, yes, it didn't become the national sort of media thing. I thought, I hoped, and sort of speculated, and said, "Because oh, oh I really thought it was going to be so, so cool. It's going to be Kevin. It, Ke- it would have been so cool for Kevin. You know, it would have been this moment of national media attention about, hey, we found Hitchbot, and it may still happen because he did publish that picture. And he's he's okay. Like we, yeah, he's safe. Yeah, he's going home. He's going home. Where he's going home." Anyway. Oh yes, uh, this is not over because he's he he well, tweeted yeah. that picture. What? No, it is over. But because here's what I know: that's supposed to be sent off. So Hitchbot is supposed to be, you know, I guess being FedExed or whatever back to Canada. Right. So, in which case, no harm, no foul. Nobody's right. got anything. And that's the other thing: they know where it is. So what? You know, what would be any concern or scare about right. the fact that Kevin tweeted out a picture that he, with the Hitchbot? 
And he yeah. was in New York where that was one of his, yeah, on his bucket list yeah. to go to Times Square. Oh, that was one of the things. When when spirits were still high oh and God. every you know, and everything before whatever souring influence stepped into this thing, when spirits were still high, there was the bandied about idea of bringing it to the Empire State Building. As was mentioned in the in the in the episode of Smodcast. It's like taking a picture of Kevin at the top of the Empire State Building with the Hitchbot. But uh Ah Yeah. So that's that's what I know about that story. That's what I know. I mean you can my evidence is the fact that, hey, I got a picture with it and I'm going to drop that with this episode because, you know, why not? <laughs> now that Kevin has tweeted it out, the rest of the story can be told. And what I can say about the listener is they're, they are a stout person. They are dedicated fans to, you know, Smodcast and all that, the universe. So, and they, from my perspective, were truly... You know, all their motives were in the right place, right. as far as I could tell. And I don't know why anyone would bother them with negativity, because they were clearly not doing anything negative. Other than, you know, getting that moment and trying to get it to to their hero, you know, who is an admirer of the Hitchbot. So, I don't know. Well, it didn't go like we thought, but it's still a good story. Yeah. It's a nice way to wrap up this episode. A great story to wrap up the episode with. And the kids got to meet Kevin too. Yeah, yeah. So, 